in this lesson we'll compare uh, a sine wave to a circle. And in this case we have a unit circle since it has a radius of 1. And if you've seen the other lessons on this, we had plotted a sine wave in the previous lesson based on these values, the y values returned by the sine function. But now in this case what I'm doing, I'm actually plotting a circle as well based upon the cosine and sine values. All right, so that gives us the x and y values around the circle, and that's how I'm able to plot it. So in reality, what this says, the uh, equation for this, in this basic form with the unit circle, for the x value is really nothing more than x is equal to the cosine of theta, and for y values, it's y is equal to the sine of theta. And that's exactly what we did. We found the x values here, and we found the y values here, based upon this uh, angle of measure that we were using, which is in radians. All right? And then they gave us our x and y points, and we were able to plot, in this case, we were able to plot the points around the circle. And we have many videos on this, so this should be quite obvious at this point. And in this case, we were just looking at the y values. But in um, many cases, the real function that we're using looks like this. x is equal to r times the cosine of theta, and y equals r times the sine of theta. What this does, it takes, in the case of the unit circle, it actually takes a value of r for the radius, and then it multiplies it times the value returned by the cosine theta and sine of theta, and it does it after the fact. So it, it's doing this function first, and then it does the multiplication. So let's just take a look, in, and by default, when you use these functions, these are going to use a radial distance, or a radius, of 1. And so I have down here a value of 1, and, I'm, and this function now is really just x is equal to 1 times the cosine theta, and 1 times the sine of theta for y. And so when you use your calculator, you're going to get these values, say like at 45 degrees or 0 0.785 radians, you're going to get x is equal to 0 0.707 and y is equal to 0 0.707. But if we were to change the radial distance, in this case, let's make it, say, 1.25. All right, and now notice a couple things have happened. The r value gets multiplied times the 0 0.707 that was typically there, and so now it's 0.884. And so what has happened is the x and y coordinate at that 45 degree angle right there is going to be 0 0.884 for x and 0 0.884 for y. And at uh, 0 degrees, we can see it's going to be 1.25 for the cosine out here. So it's increased the radial distance because this is really the way the function actually is written like this. So it's the radial distance times the quantity of the cosine theta and in y, r times the sine of theta. And But notice in the case of the sine function, since we're just plotting the y values in this case, what it does, it actually, what it does, it changes the amplitude of the wave. All right. So this value, when it relates to a circle, using both of them changes the radius of the circle. But when plotting the sine, or if you were doing the cosine function, it changes the amplitude of the wave. All right. Well, that's it for this quick and easy lesson. And I'll see you in the next lesson.